Aloha, so how does baking soda help someone who's a type 2 diabetic? Well, check this out. There was a study recently done on rats, and what they found is that it was able to control insulin and inflammation a lot easier. Okay, and here's how it worked. Early research shows that when sodium bicarbonate, also known as baking soda, when it was orally put into the rats, it showed that the mesothelial cells of the digestive tract signaled to the spleen to increase the synthesis of anti-inflammatory immune cells. So if we could decrease insulin along with decrease inflammation, that is a home run punch, a home run hit for anyone with type 2 diabetes. Now the jury's still out on as far as like what's the right dosage, but I've always told people in the past if you take a teaspoon, you know, once at lunch with a cup of water and drink it slowly, do this like three or four times a week, see what happens and see if it affects your blood sugar levels. But those are the studies right now. I'm not quite sure on the dosages, but a safe dose would be to have like one teaspoon every other day or three to four times a week. Take it in the middle of the day with lunch and a cup of water. Hope you found that of use. Please click like and follow. Look forward to being of service. Mahalo.